Ngayon ay mag-a-analyze naman tayo ng mga univariate data set or one variable statistics at titingnan natin yung shape, center, at saka spread ng distribution. So yung sa problem number one, meron daw tayo mga data set dito na kung saan yung um, isang student sa college statistics class responded to a survey. So gagawa tayo ng dot plot doon sa kanilang mga response, responses dun sa um, survey na ginawa dito. So sa paggawa ng dot plot, kailangan lang unahin makikita nyo yung pinakamaliit sa, at saka yung pinakamalaki or mataas na number. And in this case, ang pinakamataas natin dito is 3. I mean, pinakamababa is 3. At ang pinakamataas is 11. At dito natin ibabase yung ating dot plot. So, since makonti lang naman yung mga numbers na pagpipilian, so let's start at 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, ito yung magiging dot plot natin. So, unahin natin C3. So, meron tayong isang dot sa 3. And then, meron tayong 4. 7. So, ito ngayon yung ating dot plot. At from this dot plot, kailangan natin siya i-analyze kasi sa letter B, we need to describe the overall pattern of the distribution and any departures from the pattern. So, in this case, mapapansin nyo na yung ating graph is somewhat symmetrical. So, sa pag-analyze natin ng graph na ito, unahin natin yung shape ng distribution. We can say that the distribution... So, since nandito yung maraming dots, so yung midpoint natin is yung 6 at yun yung center ng distribution natin. At yung spread naman ng distribution would be the range of values. So, yung range natin is from 3 hours to 11 hours. So, pwede natin siyang gamitin as description ng spread. So, we can say that the hours... yun yung spread, ng description ng spread. At wala tayong nakikita ng outliers. So kailangan din natin siyang i-mention. So yan yung description ng uh, problem letter D. At dun sa letter C naman, meron na tayong dot plot dito at kailangan lang natin siyang i-analyze. At dun sa problem number 1, explain what the dot of negative 1 represent. So, ito yung negative 1. So, since ito yung mga differences ng mga um, wins or goals ng uh, U.S. women's soccer, so soccer team, sabi dito, that the goals scored by the U.S. women's soccer team in games played in the 12 months prior to the 2012 Olympics, the dot plot below displays the goal differential of the same games computed by the US scores minus the opponent's scores. So, ito yung difference ng score ng US team at saka ng kanilang mga kalaban. So, yung mga negative scores dito, ibig sabihin nun, yun yung mga scores na natalo yung US women's team. So, yung zero at saka yung mga negative numbers. At lahat ng positive, yun yung mga nanalong um, difference or yung, yung representation ng differences ng pagkapanalo ng women's uh, soccer team, team. So, if we need to explain the dot above negative 1, it will represent um, So,
So, yan yung representation ng uh, negative numbers dito sa ating dot plot. At sa letter B naman, what does the graph tell us about how well the team did in the 2012 uh, games? So, in this case, since mas marami tayo nakikitang positive differences kesa sa negative differences, masasabi natin na naging maganda yung season or yung game ng kanilang team kasi meron lang tayong 1, 2, 3, 4 na numbers below 0. So, we can say that So, yan yung interpretation ng graph natin dun sa um, differences ng uh, score minus yung opponent's score ng US teams. So, sa last case natin, meron tayo dito ng uh, um, graph, meron tayong um, histogram. At sa histogram natin, it says here that the return on stock is the change in its market price plus any dividend payments made. So the total returns is usually expressed as percent of the beginning price and the figure below shows a histogram of the distribution of the monthly returns for all common stocks listed in the US markets. So ito yung uh, um, data set na nakuha natin at dun sa letter A, kailangan lang natin i-describe yung overall shape of the distribution of monthly returns. So from here, mapapansin natin na yung ating distribution mula sa zero is skewed, hindi siya symmetrical. So, ang uh, ating shape ng distribution ay hindi um, bell-shaped. So, siya ay symmetric and it's skewed to the skewed to the left kasi nasa left yung ating tail ng ating distribution. So, if we're going to describe it, we can say that Unimodal kasi, isa lang yung peak ng ating distribution. Now, ano daw yung appropriate center ng distribution? So, from here, since yung peak natin is somewhere here sa dalawang bars na to, so we can say that the peak peak of the distribution or the midpoint is somewhere in this range of values. So, pagsasagutin natin siya, is between 0% and about 2.5% kasi ito yung bar ng ating distribution so 0 and 2.5 at kung meron kayong natutunan sa video na ito please like, share, and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you